quick note about scale in Blender compared to Fallout Creation Kit. Or actually, I think all of the Creation Kits. So it's based in centimeters. And if you set your unit system to none and work in centimeters as your units, everything will be fine. Uh, if you set it to metric and try to use this, it's not going to know where to put that decimal point. Uh, and it doesn't really work quite right. Uh, so just do that. Alright, we got a stairway here in Blender. And we have a collision object as well. I want to be able to run up it without getting stopped, so it's mostly a ramp. I gotta be careful here. I might get caught up on that. So I, I gotta make sure it's not too steep. Um, and some simple stairs. And my collision object is slightly more simple than my stairs. So I'm gonna select the stairs. And using Pi Nifly. NIF exporter, NIF file with PyNifly. I'll go ahead and navigate to my folder, and I've done this a couple times. And I will go ahead and save that as a NIF. Now I want my collision object as an OBJ, so I will export this as a wavefront OBJ. Selected only scale one uh, forward axis set to Y up axis set to Z and I've already named it so I'll save over top of it and that's it for blender first let's open the material editor and create a material so we'll just do file new and making sure we use textures from our Fallout Data Textures folder. I got a couple. I'll load in my diffuse, my normal, and my spec. We'll turn on specular, specular enabled. And then a little further down, I will cast shadows. I think that's it. And then we will save our material into our Fallout 4 data materials. Uh, I already saved it. Uh, we'll save it again just to make sure. And that's it. Let's open our stairway. So we'll open. I need to go to the file that I saved originally. So my source file. Open my stairs. So I'm going to put a texture on them. Or my, well, yeah, I'll put a texture on them, but I'll also throw my material on them here in, in a minute. First, we'll just throw the same textures, just so we don't have to look at a big bright pink mesh. Uh, next, let's go ahead and select our, our root. Right click, block, insert, Bethesda, BSX flags. Click the flag. And we can select Havoc and Articulated uh, Dynamic if we were working on a dynamic object. And then select the root node again. Uh, we can rename this. Stars. We need to add one to this, so whatever it is, plus one. Refresh and drop down and double click. And we're going to add the BSX flags ID number. That should pick up that. That's it for that. 
Next, we want to add our collision. So select the mesh, go to File, Import, OBJ as Collision. Yeah, that's fine. And open our Blender Collision. Awesome. All right, so let's expand everything. Let's go ahead and select our collision shape, which is named BHK Nitri Strip Shape or Nitri Strip Shape. Once you got that selected, come down here into the block details and double click. Select the material. I'm going to select metal. Uh, that's good for that. And then we need to select our Ninode and go to Spells, Block, I'm sorry, Sanitize, Reorder Blocks. All right. Now, if we drop down this, well, actually, we don't even need to drop that down. We can just select our Ninode and then go to Header and then drop it down right here. We can go to Strings. We need to change our template. So I'm going to open up my folder with my material and I'm going to right click, copy as path. Uh, I'm just going to paste it right here and make sure I don't get the quotes and then just copy all the way back to materials. And then I'll come over here and paste. That should be it. I'll close that up and go back to my block list and I will save as. I'm going to save into my optimized folder. So we'll go to Fallout 4, Data, Meshes, and Optimize. I've got a couple here. So I've also got materials on this. So this is going to be version 3. it for NIFScope. Alright, I've got my output directory set for Elric to where my staircase folder is in my Fallout 4 data meshes my props directory. I'll go ahead and convert. I want this one, the one we just saved. That's it. If something doesn't come back red, or if it comes back red, something didn't work. In the creation kit, if we want to bring something in, we need a container for it or a set of instructions to tell it what it is. Uh, so it's nice to use something that is very similar. And if we look, uh, I'm going to use an asterisk after deco because I can't remember what it is. And I'll type stare. It'll give me a list of them. And Main, my main. That's it. Okay, so I want that. So I'll duplicate that one. Rename it. Then we'll go to edit for the model and we will load in our model that we just sanitized and it's that one. Alright. Uh, I do not want to create a new deform and I am sure. Alright. So now let's see. I guess we'll put it over here. We'll go put it up to where and get on the roof. Alright, so we'll take our metal stairway and drag it in. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. But let's move around a little bit, see if we can't get. Alright, here we go.
And I'll save the plugin. Um, I gotta get rid of that other one, so I'll just save it as a new one. Uh, I also gotta turn that one off. Let's do that. And load it. Mm. Should just be able to run right up them. And I should also be able to let's see what we got. 